Hi right, guys, I'm just going to do a, a short video on uh, some tips how, on how you could improve the appearance of your car. Um, if you want to sell your car or just if it's just a hobby, you want to just make your car look nicer in your photos. Um, just some simple things you can do to um, improve the appearance. Um, so yeah, this is a, just an image I got from Google, it's a Nissan 350Z. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what I would do to improve the appearance so yeah this is Photoshop CS2 on Mac so um, but I think um, generally the, the settings are quite similar um, from CS1 to CS5 and then Windows as well um, so um, yeah the first thing I would do is I would um, I would go to image adjustments and go to here brightness and contrast so uh, what I would do is um, you know, look at the photo, uh, maybe it's not bright enough, you could brighten it up here or make it darker, but I think generally um, the original brightness in this photo is okay, so I'm just going to keep it at zero. But for the contrast, I think I could do a bit more, um, a higher setting. So I'm going to hit maybe 25 here, so you can already see the difference that that makes, Let's say 26. Or and just hit OK, and you can see instantly the the difference that that makes. Just that alone, that one setting. Let me show show you this. Uh, this is the previous photo, and that's after playing with the contrast. So you can already see it looks a lot more dramatic and uh, just overall a lot more impressive. And the next thing I would do is I would uh, look at the photo and look out for any uh, small bumps and scratches even. Uh, the f this car I've got is um, the photo in this car. Uh, the photo of the car is quite good here. The, there's not many scratches or anything, but you see here, there's two small dots. Um, just some specs. Um, so one thing you could do in this situation, you could use the healing brush tool. You can see here it also says J there. So J is the hotkey for the healing brush tool. You could hit that, and then the next thing you would do. Um, is you choose a spot which is um, clear, nothing wrong. So this is a spot I'm going to choose. This is kind of clones um, clones this spot and brings it over here. So it kind of just kind of using that as like a um, makeup or whatever you want to call that. So I'm going to hit Alt, select this point, click, and then let go of Alt. Then I'm going to click here, so that get rid of that gets rid of that spec. And then I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm going to click maybe this point here, a bit higher up, and with that, hit Alt, click, let go of Alt, and then click here. And that gets rid of that spec, so that's as easy, easy as that. And that's sorted. Um, these two specs are gone now, it looks better here. So I'm going to do the same over this side here. I think there's a little spec there. I'm going to hit J, which gets me the healing brush tool. Do the same thing. Pick one point here, which is um, uh, blank and no, no blemishes or anything. I hit Alt, click, let go of Alt, and then click here. And that's fixed already. So it's another wee spec here. Uh, J. That's here. And, uh, just gonna get rid of that as well. Okay, so yeah, that's. I think that's all there is. There's not much. It's quite a good car, so it's good condition. Should have maybe chosen a more scruffier looking car, so uh, yeah, I could show you more examples, but yeah, you get the idea. So the next thing I would do um, is maybe play with the background. Like you could, um, what I would do is I would choose the background and maybe desaturate the background so get rid of the color in other words uh, that would just bring like the car a bit more and uh, this makes the whole image a lot more dramatic um, just looks pretty cool and you notice a lot of people do this as well um, maybe even car adverts they would just blank out the background and just bring out the color or which so that brings out the color of the actual car but I mean this car doesn't have much color at all but uh, yeah you get the, you get the idea so first off, I would I would do this in two halves. I would choose the the top half 
and then do the bottom half up here, just just the way I do it. Uh, I can zoom in, press Z, get it zoom tool, and then you play with the lasso tool here, which which is this symbol, like that. You have a you have a few options here. You could use the lasso tool, which basically just looks like freehand drawing, but it's not very accurate. So I don't really use this one. I I generally use the polygonal lasso tool. Just get rid of that. Oh yeah, polygonal lasso tool. So this tool is just a bit more direct. You could select like specific points, so more direct and more accurate. Uh, there's also the magnetic one, which um, which is supposed to detect the outline of what you want to do. So I'm just gonna I'm just like flowing my voice above the outline here, so it c kind of detects it. But I mean, you know, it's not as much control as the polygonal lasso tool. So I'm just gonna select that. Okay. And then I'm going to take it from this point here, for example. And then I'm just going to go with the polygon and the tool around um, the top half of the car. So that, um, you know, I just choose the background. I'm not sure if there's um, maybe a faster way of doing this, but this is the way I've done it in, for many years. So I'm just going to do it this way in my video. So you know, just bear with me. I'm just going to go. Around the whole outline here. Again, I'm just um, being quite rough here. You could be more accurate, take more time. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video. So. I'm just going to stop at this point here. Uh, yeah, and so I'm going to go around the top here. So I kind of like wrap around the whole top. And then select the whole of the top half of the background or just scrolling over again. Again, this is probably not the fastest, fastest way of doing things, but it's the way I do it. So I'm just going to hit enter here. And you, if you zoom out, you will see that. The polygon on the pseudo has gone around and selected the whole top half here. So, yeah. So, next thing I would do is I would go to image adjustments and then hit desaturate, which is this one here. Um, you can also, instead of going through the whole process of image adjustments and desaturate, you could also just push shift, hold shift, apple key, and U. And that will just do the same thing, but yeah, I'm just gonna click here, and you can see instantly that the background has desaturated, so there's no color. It's all grayscale now. Then the next step I would do is go to brightness and contrast. Uh, I'm gonna play with the contrast again here, so uh, yeah, something like that just makes it a little bit look a bit better. Let's say 20. Let's enter just the keyboard here. Okay, so and then the next thing I'm gonna do is select the second half, which is just the bottom here. And go around the bottom half of the car now. I should do that again. Just again, I'm just doing this very roughly just to show you how to do this in the video. Just have to take a bit more time to edit the photos. Uh, okay. I've selected that bottom half now. I'm just going to do the same thing. Desaturate. Uh, contrast. Up the contrast. Um, so last time I hit 20. So the top half has, has been up by 20. So I'm just going to do the same for the bottom here. I just hit 20 and hit OK. Um, yeah, you can see that already looks a lot better. Um, the car looks a lot better, uh, just brings it out a bit more. Uh, another thing I'll do in this one is, would be 
I would um, desaturate the windows as well because there's a there's a green hint coming out, and it's not very nice. I don't really like it. It's kind of annoying me. So I'm just going to do the same thing here. I'm going to select the windscreen, desaturate it. So Shift Command and U, and then play with the contrast again. Apparently there's oh, there's no hot key for the contrast and brightness settings. So you're just going to you just have to go through that. Uh, I think hit 20 as well, so 20. And also for this wee bit, we'll probably get rid of the color on this wee bit more at the back. Let's see. Yeah, we're just going to select a windscreen. Uh, Shift, Command, U. And then Image Adjustments, Contrast. Uh, say 20. Really make much of a difference, but the main thing I wanted to do was get rid of the, the color there. Uh, yeah, so yeah, you see the difference that these steps have made already. I'll show you that's the previous photo, this is the new photo, and yeah, it just looks a lot better. And the final step I would do now is crop the photo. Um, Sometimes you might not even need to crop it, but I like to crop it so it just looks a bit more better. You can so you probably don't. Oh, sorry. You don't really need this bottom half here, or not too much of it anyway. So I would maybe select that. How much of the bottom? I like the top of these trees here, so I'm just gonna keep those trees in the top. And hit enter. And you see that looks a lot better. So yeah, that's. Uh, that's all I'm going to show you in my video, and just um, just very simple things I've done here. Just playing about with the contrast settings and just the lasso tool, basically and the healing brush tool. And, uh, just those simple steps makes it the whole thing a lot go, look a lot better. So I hope this helps, and uh, yeah, I'll probably post a bit more videos later on how to maybe do other things to make your car look better. Maybe you can even add a body kit or something. But yeah, I'll keep you posted if. So cool. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helps. Thanks.